Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the New York Jets. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. They'll start with the option. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented him from maybe going all the way. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Play action. Now Jackson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. On second down, it's Cook again. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On third down, Wilson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. Well, it's not the touchdown that they wanted, CD, but still, they got to be pretty happy here. You steal the ball away from them on their opening possession, and you turn that into the early 3-0 lead. Yeah, you painted the picture perfectly there, all the things that have gone on. And the important thing, other than the lead, of course, is as you described, both sides of the ball now have some momentum. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they all... And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose, and it's scooped up by the Jets, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. A three-yard pickup. Ball again on second down. 
Oh, great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13 yard line. Nice run. 10 yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and five from the 8. On second down, a run with ball. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Third and five. Ball again. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. And if you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. And now the Raven defense going to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown on Jets. The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett teaming up there. And the Jets' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor. He's got a man complete. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 42 yards. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Flushed out right. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory. But take it and run. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. They run again on first down. Cook, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's Cook again. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13. Down to the 13. First and 10 in the run zone. But there are strong running plays, and then there are plays where you simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, 
This is going to be a long game. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. They'll come up now third and three. They'll run with Hall. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their full band. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throw caught by Flowers. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And this one too low. They're giving him some different looks here defensively. And they're only going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up. They can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and run the option. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. On first and ten, it's Hall. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the four, this is second down and one. Here's Hall again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall taking it in from four yards out. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And that makes our score 17-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, okay. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Edwards now on first and ten. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. They'll come up second and seven. 
Middle, 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 middle. Jackson options out left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. And not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Edwards. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. A first and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Jackson now. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. And remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here we go on fourth down. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. All again on second down. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. Go! Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. That's a gain of three. Now a third and five. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night.
They'll go again with Hall. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and eight. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Now Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the left sideline. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Sirline connects on the extra point, And the lead is now 24. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line has done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Dancing to his left. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. They're going to look to throw. This complete left side to Aguilar. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Here's Jackson to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. To throw is Jackson. Flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. So maybe just a momentary setback on what's been a great drive so far. But second and 13 here. 
Here's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. The Ravens on third down. Two for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Throwing is Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Nelson Aguilar, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. And he will get into the end zone for the two points. And it's not over yet as they're back within two scores. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Straight ahead is home. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. It's a foot race. Loose inside the 30. Brees Hall. And on the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall. His second touchdown of the night. And the Jets have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but Jackson hit and he lost the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got him. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Paul on to give up the middle. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall, 33 yards. And the Jets have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watch of their execution throughout this contest.
Duvernay now going to bring it out. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now it's Jackson. And oh, it caught it up. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. And now they're in the hurry up. Now it's Jackson. That's going deep for Bateman. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. With this advantage, this defense knew the passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Justin Matabike firing across the line there and planning him for a loss. All again on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. 190 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Thomas Here's Morstead Thomas Morstead now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. On the return is Williams. Found good room to run there. Returns at 14 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. The Jackson going to run again. And they get him down. After a pickup of eight, second and two. Now they got to get to the line quickly. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. They go play action now. Jackson. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Third and two, here's Jackson. He's going to let it fly. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And the Jets are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. 
And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and the big yardage all night long. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half.